Welcome to the CA Continuous Delivery Director Getting Started video. In this video, you will learn how to set up a sample release pipeline, integrate CA Continuous Delivery Director with GitHub, deploy a sample application with AWS Code Deploy, configure different release phases, run a Sauce Labs UI test, run a Blaze Meter performance test. In this example, we'll automate deployment of code and configuration changes for an application using GitHub and AWS Code Deploy. Then, we will set up the foundation of continuous integration by incorporating acceptance, UI, and performance testing. I'm going to begin by going to my AWS Code Deploy account and creating a sample application. Now I can create a deployment group called Acceptance. Next, I sign into the CA Continuous Delivery Director. Here's the release home screen. We've added a sample release as an example. The sample release is divided into three phases, acceptance, load and performance, and production. Each phase contains a list of tasks that we need to configure. The sample release contains two applications, sample application 1 and 2. In a real-life scenario, you'd probably include multiple applications in a release. However, in this tutorial, we'll just focus on delivering and promoting sample application 1. Now we're going to integrate our release with GitHub. The goal of integrating with GitHub is to start running the first phase in the release automatically every time there's a push to the master in your GitHub repository. In GitHub, I clone our public CA Continuous Delivery Director repository. This lets me make changes to the cloned repository later on. Then I add a webhook. Webhooks provide a way for notifications to be delivered to an external web server whenever certain actions occur on a repository. In our case, the webhook enables notifications about changes to the master to be sent to CA Continuous Delivery Director. I start filling in the Add Webhook form. In Payload URL, pay attention to the URL syntax. Now I go to CA Continuous Delivery Director to copy the API key. We recommend that you save the API key in a handy storage location. Otherwise, you'll need to initiate a reissue every time you want to copy and paste the API key. I paste the API key in the secret field. The webhook I've created supports GitHub integration and CA Continuous Delivery Director. Next, I create an endpoint for AWS Code Deploy so that I can use it for deployments. Let's give our endpoint a name. I enter the region where my AWS Code Deploy is configured. I enter my access key ID and secret access key. This key has limited permissions. You can find the access key under the IAM area in AWS. The next four fields refer to the GitHub repository for my artifacts. If the repository was public, I just enter the name of the repository. If your applications require a build, use the Jenkins plugin instead. Now I configure the AWS Code Deploy deployment task in the acceptance phase. Let's set up an AWS Code Deploy deployment task. I select the AWS Code Deploy endpoint I just created. This is the acceptance deployment group that we previously defined. Let's specify the commit ID we want to deploy. Since I want to be notified by GitHub on every push to the master branch, and I also want to start running this phase automatically, I'm not going to specify a specific commit, just the last successful commit. Next, I check the list of task-related applications in the content area. If an application in the list is not selected, 
CA Continuous Delivery Director will not promote that application at runtime. Now I'm going to change the Run UI Tests task in the Acceptance phase to run a Sauce Labs UI test. Sauce Labs lets you run your UI tests against multiple platforms and browsers, and on different devices and resolutions. If you don't have a Sauce Labs account, you can create a trial to see how it works. Let's create an endpoint for Sauce Labs. I enter my Sauce Labs username and API key. You'll find your API key in your Sauce Labs account. Remember that in Sauce Labs, the API key is called Access Key. In the Git Project URL field, I enter the URL repository I created by cloning the sample applications. If the clone repository was private, I would not need Git credentials. Next, I configure the Sauce Labs task. I select the endpoint I just created. I go to GitHub, open the test configuration file, and change the base URL to the application URL. This ensures my application is tested when I deploy to AWS Code Deploy. Now we've completed the required activities for the acceptance phase. Let's focus on the load and performance phase. I'm going to configure the AWS Code Deploy deployment task. I open the sample release for editing. I click Edit Task. I select AWS Code Deploy. I select the endpoint that I created earlier. I select Sample Application. I select the performance deployment group that I defined earlier. I specify the built-in token, last successful commit. Tokens are used to automatically promote builds or commits to the next phase in the release pipeline. Now I change the manual performance test task into a CA blaze meter task so that I can test my application's performance. Let's create a project. In the project, I create a URL test. I insert the public DNS of the AWS Code Deploy instance that I deployed on. I just created a test that checks the performance of my new application. Next, I create an endpoint so that I can use BlazeMeter for testing. The URL is constant, so the only thing I need to fill is the BlazeMeter API key. Now I test the connection to the endpoint to ensure that everything is okay. Let's configure the BlazeMeter performance test task. I open sample release for editing. I select BlazeMeter and click run test. I select the endpoint that I created earlier. I specify my BlazeMeter workspace and my project IDs. In test, I specify the built-in token, last successful commit, and save. Finally, to verify that the acceptance and load and performance phases are configured correctly, I make a change in the GitHub repository and push to the master. This change triggers the execution of the release.
In this video, you've learned how to set up a sample release pipeline, integrate CA Continuous Delivery Director with GitHub, deploy a sample application with AWS Code Deploy, configure different release phases, run a Sauce Labs UI test, and run a BlazeMeter performance test. Thanks for watching. To find out more about release orchestration and CA Continuous Delivery Director, see the product documentation at docops.ca.com forward slash CDD.